Oh my gosh, there's an adult squash bug dead. Now that right there is a victory. Here's a couple that are meeting and one's dead and one's alive. That right there is a half a victory. So I'm out here this morning. It's a beautiful morning. I'm doing a little work in the garden. Um, later on today, we have to run to town because Brooke and Miley both have dentist appointments. Anyway, a few days ago, I noticed we were starting to get a huge infestation of those nasty, gnarly old squash bugs. And you know, after all these years of battling squash bugs, you'd figure that I would have learned just to give up on squash altogether and not even plant it because there is just literally nothing to kill them and they just get in and just completely wipe out my crop and you know that's that and so as usual they're back again this year so a couple of days ago I noticed that we had a huge infestation of those darn bugs starting and I really wanted to get out here then and spray them but I forgot what I was doing at the time and I couldn't get out here and do it and then I really wanted to do it yesterday but yesterday was a busy busy day for us because I had a dentist appointment Miley had art classes and so um, we ran to town and Brooke dropped me off at my dentist appointment she dropped Miley off at her art classes and then she came back and picked me up and my for some reason my dentist appointment lasted a lot longer than we anticipated so we ended up just staying in town and eating lunch and then waiting around and picking Miley up from her art class because we have had like a ton of rain lately and our roads are pretty bad and so we're having to zigzag throughout the countryside just to get to town because several of the roads are flooded and so for us it just wasn't worth running back and forth back and forth and so that was our day yesterday. Then when we got home that afternoon, my jaw was really aching. And so I took some pain medication and then I went and took a very long nap. And let me tell you, it was super nice to get rested up. And then that evening, Miley had 4-H. So I took her to 4-H and Brooke had an art class. So anyway, we were just busy, busy, busy that yesterday. And so when we got home from 4-H, I was thinking about the squash bugs and it was really, really bothering me. So I did a little research on them and I really didn't learn anything new or different than what I've already tried over the previous years. And so the number one thing that I read that does the best is neem oil. And so I mixed up a half a gallon of neem oil and I decided I was gonna come out here and at least get this one plant sprayed. And then so this one right here, we think it is a pumpkin. It's just a volunteer plant that came up. So I set my sprayer right here on the spray and I started spraying it. Those things started crawling around frantically and it was creeping me out and so, <laughs> I adjusted this old nozzle to blast and I just started blasting those things off of there. And then the next thing I know, I had went through a whole half a gallon of neem oil on just that one plant. So now I gotta wait and see what the effects are gonna be to that plant for having that much neem oil put on it. But anyway, I was kind of assessing it a while ago. And there's not nearly the amount of bugs that there was on there last night. But as you can see, we still have them crawling around like there's an adult right there. But on the bright side of things, there's actually some dead bugs right there. Which is super exciting, but I just wish the rest of them were dead too. Ooh, man, there's even some more dead ones. Look at all that. I'm so tempted to get, spray it some more and go ahead and try to kill all those others, but... I feel like I've put a whole ton of neem oil just on that one plant. I'm not sure if it'll survive or not. Now over here, my zucchinis have a big time infestation too. I've actually got a, a zucchini growing. The other day when I was out here, maybe it's just too early yet for the bugs to come out, but... Oh gosh, there they are. <laughs> 
These things just creep me out. But look at that. There's just a bazillion of them. I'm gonna spray them and get rid of them. Oh my goodness sakes, look at that. Oh, isn't that gross and creepy? Some of those little guys are dying already, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. <sighs> So hard to get them all because they like to take shelter under the leaves. Oh my goodness, just look at them all. Some of them look like they are dying, which is good. Past years I've always used neem to try to fight the squash bugs. But um, I've always lightly sprayed because um, from what I've read, the oil, the neem oil and stuff isn't good to put on too thick on the plants because it can, you know, damage the leaves and stuff like that. And this year I just decided I'm just going to blast them because the squash bugs kill my plants anyway. So I guess if... Um, the spray kills them, I'll be in the same boat, but at least the squash bugs will be dead. I've got to do something to get those squash bugs under control. Now here's the other pumpkin plant we have. And right there on that leaf is a bunch of baby ones that are hatching out at this moment. Now this plant doesn't seem to be quite as infested as the other ones. So I'm not going to drench this plant as much as I've drenched the other ones. Now oh, there comes a couple of adults out. I should just pick those things off and squish them right now, but I don't know. Like to touch them. <laughs> Drench them really good with that spray. I usually try to grow my garden as organically as possible and try to avoid any chemical pesticides, things like that. But when it comes to squash bugs, I have broke out every kind of insecticide possible. And even the chemical pesticides, they don't even touch them. And so out of everything we've tried over the years, Neem oil is probably the number one thing that works the best. And then the second thing that I really like to use is raw goat milk. I dilute it down to about 50, 50 mix with water and then spray it on them. I know the zucchini, they just go crazy. They just grow really beautiful. Their, their leaves get nice and green. And so then tonight I will probably go ahead and spray them down with goat milk to kind of offset the effects of the neem if I put too much on. Oh my gosh, there's an adult squash bug dead. Now that right there is a victory. Here's a couple that are mating, and one's dead and one's alive. That right there is a half a victory. So it's now evening time and I've decided to come out to the garden and spray down the zucchini with raw milk. As you can see, the neem oil didn't take care of all of the squash bugs. So disgusting. 
Try to get underneath the leaves as much as possible. Now, raw milk doesn't exactly kill the squash bugs, but I've read that they can't digest the sugars in it. And so when you spray your plants down with it, um, the bugs will not eat the plant because of the sugars on it. And then on top of that, zucchinis really do awesome when you spray them down with milk. They grow, they turn an awesome shade of green, and they become very healthy. There's been a couple other things I've tried, and one of them was vacuuming them off. That works really well, except for you got to do it several times a day to keep up with all of them. And I just simply don't have time for that. So I kind of gave up on that. And the other thing would be to pick them off, and there's no way I'm doing that because they give me the creeps. Even with gloves on. Um, the only other thing would be to go around and find all of the little eggs and squish them and I've done that before but then they just keep laying them and more accumulate and it just it gets to the point they get ahead of you and you can't I can't keep up but anyway I'll, I will keep you posted on how this goes